In health headlines tonight, life is about to get a lot better for thousands of sick and injured children across B.C. Today saw the official launch of a major redevelopment of B.C. Children's Hospital in Vancouver. As Jeff Hastings reports, the project is moving ahead thanks to contributions from government, industry, and more than 80,000 British Columbians. Three, two, one. With a bang, BC Children's Hospital is launched into the next phase of its years-long $700 million redevelopment. 80,000 donors have generously made this happen. And to every one of those donors, I want the message to go out, we couldn't have done it without you. This old building won't be long in this world. Demolition starts today. The new tech acute care center rising in its place over the next three years. A specialized facility for BC's sickest children. It includes emergency, uh, a needle and natal intensive care, pediatric intensive care, uh, oncology, and inpatient units for children. If your child is sick or hurt, nothing matters more than getting the absolute best possible care possible, and that's what BC Children's Hospital provides. The largest capital campaign of its kind in BC launched in 2008. Since then, British Columbians have raised $200 million. Though in Vancouver, this hospital is for everyone. People all around the province use this facility, and it is a, indeed a provincial resource. We're very, very lucky to have a resource like this uh, in the Lower Mainland that serves all of uh, the province. And because its patients are from hundreds of communities, many families are burdened with finding accommodation and comfort in a city that isn't home, but not for much longer. The new hospital is going to have uh, individual uh, patient rooms with uh, beds for families and bathrooms and some of those things that we take for granted in our homes every day. And we don't have that in our current facilities. The Tech Acute Care Centre will be completed in 2017, built and paid for by British Columbians. Every British Columbian has made a difference to this project and I thank them for that. Jeff Hastings, Global News.